It was raining at the station the day we said goodbye. I was bound to Hello everybody. This is the Imagine of and I'm here to welcome you today again to the Digs and Diamonds server. We have a beautiful sunrise with light fluffy clouds and I am so glad to be back with you guys today. Uh, we've had a little bit of a break. Um, a few weeks ago, uh, took a vacation, uh, Lily and I did, and we went and had a good time. And also, we got back and then I got this spiffy new <coughs> graphics card, pardon me, and I did some testing for about a week. I played uh, this game. I played several other games, uh, testing out the card, seeing what kind of capabilities we now have. And uh, then unfortunately, I had about a week where I got really, really sick. Uh, it wasn't COVID, uh, thank God. And, uh, but it was enough to take me down for a little bit. And uh, I'm feeling chipper, I'm feeling good, I'm ready to make some more videos, and here we are, back on the beautiful Digs and Diamonds server, with everything looking just perfect like we left it. Um, I want to say a few things about uh, the graphics card. Um, we went ahead, let's see if we can do an F3 here, and uh, I guess I can't in this mode, so let me... F1, there we go. So we are now sporting, if you'll see on the right, we're sporting a new 3080 RTX, super duper killer graphics card. And that's paired up with our uh, 24 core Risen Threadripper, third gen, <laughs> 3960X with a ginormous amount of memory to boot. So. With that said, uh, we are doing, I think, a lot better on the uh, frames per second. However, I will say that because Java Minecraft is not optimized yet uh, for the ray tracing and all the special functions that this graphics card has, uh, we are not going to see a tremendous boost in the frames per second per se as we would if we were running bedrock edition which we are not going to be running on here because we can't have all the things that we like to have so we're still getting a uh, much much better uh, frames per second and we are also able to run the shader and the recording software without cooking the graphics card um, when I was running the 2080 RTX, it was, uh, with the recording software, we were pushing max, max, max everything. It was at 100%, and the temperatures were really, really high, and I had to do some uh, tricky things with the airflow in the room to keep the room cool, and... Uh, it, it, it just was actually a problem, and that is why I picked this card out. Now, the card does run much cooler. Um, it is more responsive. I feel like when I turn the screen like this, we are not getting the frame rate, uh, the screen tearing. Even with G-Sync on, we were getting uh, some tearing, and uh, we still get a massive frame drop, uh, frame rate drop, over here and I just have a feeling that has to do with uh, how poorly optimized my redstone is in this area which is something that we are going to address at some point um, <clears throat> with all that said though I am very glad to be back and I'm glad to be recording again we have a lot of work to do and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the little break uh, I enjoyed it. Um, I didn't enjoy being sick. I do enjoy testing new hardware, however, and that was that was good fun. And there's no better way to test your hardware than to play a bunch of different kinds of games, 
see how things perform over time. Um, this card is just beastly. And there are some shaders uh, for Java Minecraft that are optimized for ray tracing. However, I'm not real keen on them because they uh, are they're the uh, you have to have the same texture pack. Um, I think it's maybe Silders uh, has the shader pack. Plus, you have to pay for it. And I, right now, I've paid for enough stuff. Um, I'm not going to pay for anything else. We are going to run this as is, enjoy what we get, and uh, be happy with where we are. So without further ado, uh, today, I'm looking through here, um, <clears throat> we need a massive amount of iron. And here we go. So I'm going to... Uh, put away some of this stuff I got a loom for Lily and uh, we're going to take iron out of here and as most of you know the process will go something like uh, let's see for those who maybe haven't seen the earlier uh, video uh, air plus uh, iron plus sponge or water plus iron plus sponge equals air was the video and it is basically the process where we do something like this and then we use the sponges to remove the water and that will get us to the point where we can take all this sand out so I am going to work on getting all my iron placed and we will be back and when we start the uh, sponge process and uh, hopefully you guys came ready for a little bit of that we might run around and and just poke our heads around and see everything I do want to say also oh I do have my wings on thank goodness um, we did miss Minecraft is Fun Week, November 2020. So Yidnar2255 is still our Minecraft is Fun champion. And we are going to leave him up until, uh, until we can get the next one going. So we may just go ahead and skip November for this year. We'll take the same ideas that we had. And we are going to apply them for Minecraft is Fun Week, December 2020. Uh, I know Lily is excited about that. We got really busy and just lots of things going on. So we had to kind of back burner everything, <clears throat> but we are back. And without further ado, we're going to get going on all this and get it removed. Okay, so here we are and we've got our iron put out. And I was going to take a look from up in the sky here and see <clears throat> the work that we have before us, which is, this is the real work here. Um, so there's what we have to uh, get rid of with the sponges. So it's going to take a while. I, I don't know if I'll finish it all in this episode. Uh, I do want to get as much of it done as I possibly can because we're so close. We are tantalizingly close to the end of the water and uh, looking at this I mean that's that's going to take some serious uh, some serious time so we are going to uh, fly down here. I was going to take a little spin around the neighborhood real quick. I told you guys uh, a while back that uh, down here there was uh, a jungle and I was wrong the jungle is actually well I wasn't completely wrong but it's more off to the uh, south and so we have a jungle right over here a really nice one big lush beautiful jungle um, that we can do some exploring in and I don't know there there's some cool stuff we can do over here um, so we've got this area and it is 
just a stone's throw away from the base. We also have this area here that I would like to uh, turn into some kind of awesome flower farm because it is a flower forest biome right here next to the base. And then, <clears throat> on top of everything else, there is a ocean monument, and I correctly called it today, um, ocean monument there. And I think it goes on for quite a ways out, out this direction with just islands and things. So we may not have too much uh, interesting stuff to do over here. But, uh, and then, uh, you know, the other draw point for this area was the fact that we had the mushroom biome right here. I mean, how cool is that? And we can do some cool stuff with this also. And Lily was telling me that she was getting attacked by a skeleton over here. And now I think I understand what happened is there is a little bit of shore biome right next to there. And I think she is correct. I think she was actually getting attacked by skeletons and uh, woo, little lag. And I should have listened to her. Oh, and we didn't quite make it. Let's make it up there. All right. So this is our task. I have enough sponges to make this work. And we will get this done and uh, move on to sand removal. So I just wanted to give everybody a little uh, look at what what we're up against. And then we still have to remove a giant mountain and a bunch of other things. Um, I've got some empty shulker boxes. Those are all the shulker boxes of sand that are actually out, but we're gonna have to probably put some more out there uh, because we are going to have all this to remove in addition to, and we're saving it all. So I don't throw anything away, generally speaking. Um, for those of you who were curious this is where we got all the uh, snow from. So, um, uh, this one, uh, this design was by Frilioth, I believe. I really like him. He's a cool dude. He's got some great, uh, very simple uh, builds to do. Um, I, I will try to find a link to this. Uh, this is just one I had had for a while uh, that I used. Um, it's it's a very simple build and it works really well um, let's see what's under here do I have a chest who would have thought breaking snow with the stake oh I can't open that one I guess it's underneath here um, the snow goes down into you leave for a little while and then you forget everything um, I do need to make some more beacons too. Yes. So, yes, this is where the snowball magic was happening. So they just go down in these chests, bada boom, bada bing. And, uh, oh man, I got stuff everywhere. Um, all right. So I'll leave back off. I'm going to go back up top and, uh, actually let's do the first one together. So you guys can know what I'm up against and uh, let's see we need some sponges and we're I only lost one sponge this entire time I law I had three stacks and 17 and somewhere during this middle section when I had to redo everything somehow I lost a sponge and I'm telling you it was heartbreaking because I had done so good uh, and not lost a single sponge. So, a little sad about that, but um, I found a new couple new uh, ocean monuments, so if I have to, I can go get some more, but I don't think I'll need it. I'm going to pop this out because I need a little bit of sand here. Uh, let's see, we'll take 
three stacks of sand and let's let's just do one let's do it uh, I've got ooh, those wings I've been flying too much um, I had a new set there we go a brand new set in here and we will swap these out because we will definitely need those for this project and if I can hit the shift button um, and do I have enough fireworks no I do not have enough fireworks because I waste fireworks like it's going out of style uh, and those will blow me up let's go get some fireworks folks oops and didn't activate my elytra and we lagged massively I did restart the server so I'm kind of hoping uh, that the lag stays to a minimum um, let's see here go down here to frames per second equals 30 area and somewhere in here I have regular rockets and we will just take several stacks of those and run our way back over here this is good we are going to make major progress and pretty soon this video or the next video I'm hoping that the sand is just and water is a distant memory and we are going to begin construction on the giant golden floor yeah, okay so here we go uh, and I'm forgetting one last thing it's what happens when you take a break all right I need a couple stacks of these all right here we go do, do, do here we are and I kind of just want to uh, where to start uh, let's see let's just start all the way over here at the far end and we'll just work our way all the way across and when we're all the way across we'll be done the easy part will be the other side for this water removal because uh, it's not nearly as deep so we're going to stick one here we'll stick one here and let's make sure try not to waste them and uh, okay here and one here all right that's it for that and sorry mr. fish you are going to have to die and we just kind of go through like so and uh, making sure at the end to uh, have all the sponges <laughs> That we started with all right oh, and that one went up there so I'm gonna just before I lose track of my thought here did it go all the way down here Ooh, it's dark uh, no it went back in the other hole all right so here we go we whoa. Uh, do I have a shovel no awesome that's going to make this take extra long so the the whole point is to have a shovel and then you just pew, and I could use slime blocks I guess but uh, it would make I could just break them with my hand and there's our we've got our sponges we should have six plus that okay that's uh, there we go all right we are set and then we just got to get out 
and not drop a sand block on our head while we're doing it. All right. Oh, crash. So, here we go. Rough start, but it is a start. Let's see. I did drop two sand blocks. So, the trick is to have, like, an empty hand <laughs> when you're flying out. So, you're not placing blocks above your head. All right. We're going to get cracking on this, and uh, I'll see you back when uh, we get a significant portion of this finished. And we're back for a little progress update, and we are up on our observation platform in the beautiful sky of the midday, and I'm looking down here, and it doesn't look like I've gotten that much accomplished, but I'm telling you guys, this is quite, quite an undertaking. Um, I worked on the side that had the deepest water, and we're going to fly down here, and I may do a couple of these. But as you can tell, it's very, very deep, and it's been a trial. So... We're going to look at this, a uh, couple of these, just to give you an idea of how much water we've had to take out of each hole. Um, they go all the way pretty much to the bottom. All of these do. Uh, there are a few of them that are a little more shallow. Uh, there were some features on the bottom that caused it to rise up a little bit, so not every one of them is all the way to the bottom, but most of them are. And I am taking out some of the extra rock and getting down to the level that I need to be so that when I take the sand out, I don't have a bunch of irregular, lumpy craziness. Um, so let's do, let's do one of these and see kind of what we're up against. I'm going to run over here and get my sponges real quick, and we'll give it a shot here. I don't believe this is all going to get done for this video today, but we're going to make some little more progress and give it a shot here. So <laughs> we'll see what we're up to. I've been also uh, testing out a few variations on the uh, graphics card, and NVIDIA has uh, a neat little uh, software package that comes with the driver set that allows you to do some overclocking. Uh, they all, you know, they give you the disclaimer, hey, you mess with this and blah, 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 you know. But uh, it's, it's their software, so I feel like it's kind of a safe bet. So we're going to just take out some of the water like so. I did buy a new mouse pad and it's great because it's ginormous and it allows me to do great big sweeping movements on here. However, it is not soft, so it makes a lot of noise. So if you hear some clunking, it's my mouse pad. Um, okay, so here we are down at the bottom. Uh, this is the end stone that I placed, and that lets me know that this is the bottom level. And what I've been doing as I go along, I get in these, and if they're uneven like this, I take out the little bits, the tidbits, the tiny bits, and uh, get rid of them so that when I'm done and I come back, it'll be just a little less work. And I'm already down here anyway. Let's see. So we're looking at, I think this is about 24 blocks, maybe, deep. And this is the process. Uh, I did this on uh, one of my other videos. I'll, I'll try to uh, put a little uh, marker or a thing in here and, and put a link to that if you want to actually see me spend a decent amount of time doing that. But, yeah, this is what we do. I'm pretty sure scaffolding would actually be a better choice uh, or the bamboo stuff than what I'm doing. But I'm so used to doing it this way 
and I'm almost done. So I figure, why change it, break my rhythm, mess me up, I'm not gonna do it. And then we just shovel down, like so. Collect what we got here at the bottom. Slap a lantern in the middle to keep mobs from spawning and try to take off. There we go. Fly around and come, whoop, and we lag. But we, oh, crash land into a block of iron. I tell you folks, if some of the stuff happened in real life, it would be pretty bad. Um, smacking your face into a block of iron going 30 miles an hour would be quite tragic. Thankfully in the Minecraft world, I just have to eat a little piece of steak and that fixes me right back up. So we're gonna do this last one here and then we'll go to an edit and maybe get a little bit more done. I think today I would like to end off uh, going back to the gold farm because we're, we're at about probably 17,000 blocks and we need about another 11,000 more blocks of gold so that when we're finished with this process we can get in there and start laying out our floor which is going to be monumental we also have to finish the iron floor and probably make a trip over to the end and collect just a tad bit more in stone because I do not believe I have enough in stone to finish the entire floor. I may, but I may not. It's going to be kind of close. And here we go. We're finishing up. So I'm going to show you the other thing that, that uh, so this side here went all the way to the bottom. Pretty much in every hole, which is why uh, it's taken me a while. And it's hard to make myself to finish this process because I feel like I've been doing this forever. Uh, so I feel like uh, I'm trying. I'm trying real hard not to let anybody down here. I want to get this done. I want to prove <clears throat> I can do it. All right. So let's get out of the hole. All right. So let's go look at these real quick, and I'll show you the difference. Oops landed in the water <clears throat> here we go so on this side you start looking around we can see the bottom like right there so that's a lot less uh, time spent removing the water and it gets really shallow over here so a lot of this is going to take just a couple of minutes to do several holes as opposed to several minutes to do one hole and let's go Let's see here. So you can see <clears throat> I'm almost halfway. <laughs> but if you count the volume, I guess we're over halfway, not counting removing all the uh, ground that we're going to have to remove after the water is gone. All right. So that's where we're at. Um, and I think that's probably the amount of ground that we're going to cover today I have some things to repair <clears throat> so let's make a uh, brief stop over here um, all right so we'll throw these sponges in I've kept good track haven't lost anything and we'll put away our items that we don't need we don't need the iron and <clears throat> Here's some sand. I'm going to put this away. I don't need this at all. Sponges, go back in your place. And uh, I have a random chest here for fishes. If I can press the shift button and that. Keep the rockets. Don't need the lanterns. <clears throat> check, check, check. Checkity check check. Boink. All right. I do want to grab these so I don't lose them. And put away the stone. All right. So we're kind of organized here. 
we're going to get these sponges back with their brothers and sisters and head off uh, let's see I need these wings to be repaired these tools to be repaired mm, that can't be repaired that's okay oh man got a lot of fireworks in there um, let's see here I want to grab a shulker box and a new set of wings and just double check my tool chest whoa ah yes lag I did restart the server so that should be hopefully a little less <laughs> Than it normally is. All right, um, tools. Everything's fixed up, so this is what we need to fix. Uh, and I need to switch these. Put this on. I've got some snowballs to grab real quick. Run through the maze. It would be nice to have. An extra shulker box just in case I want to do some snowball throwing. All right, we'll take this one. Got our. All right, I think we're ready. Nether, here we come. Um, so it's amazing to me, right? We've got this killer video card, and my base is capable of bringing this video card to its knees and uh, I talked about how I think part of that has to do with the graphics card not being optimized for this software there are shader packs that or there is a shader pack that is optimized for the awesome features on the new Nvidia graphics cards however you have to pay for it. Um, I think it's like $36, and I'm not going to pay for it right now. And the other problem is, is I, I don't believe I can still use Chroma Hill's texture pack uh, with that shader. So I like the shader I have. I'm cool. Uh, the funny thing is, let's see here. Let's see what we're looking at. Okay, so here's the NVIDIA overlay. In the nether... With the shader pack on, I'm getting plenty of frames a second. I've got it limited to my refresh rate on my monitor, and we have it decently overclocked. Um, uh, if you do notice over there in the little corner at the bottom, it says GPU power. I will say that this card, when you overclock it, uses quite a bit of electricity. Um, we're I've seen it uh, use up to 320, 330 watts, um, which is not a problem for us because we have a pretty massive uh, power supply. We have a 1600 watt digital Corsair power supply, and it uh, is running at 240. So I'm. I'm I'm not running 120 on this computer. It's actually running at 240. And it, so it, it, it really isn't a big strain for anything on here. Um, about the most I've seen me pull all together is about, um, let's see. I think it was about seven or 800 watts. And that was with the 2080. So I, I, I probably need to check it again and see what we're doing. With this card because this this one overclocked consistently draws 200 over 200 watts like when it's doing some work and when it's really working like say when we're at the base it's probably uh, two or three 320 330 watts but we never get above 70 72 73 and uh, so I'm not, we're not having temperature issues or anything like that. So I'm pretty happy with the overall performance. We're going to 
wrap up the episode here at the gold farm. Um, let's see here. We'll get this overlay turned off. And, okay. So, what we need to do uh, is we're going to do some AFK. But, let's see how... Oh, one thing, real quick. We hear the clicking, right? We need to... Get the sorting system moving at the right speed. We're going to go up here and throw some snowballs. And I guess the way I get in here... Ooh, I'm hungry. Alright, the way we get in here is to put that there. And then I need to... Let's see. Those are half slabs, so half slab, half slab, and take this out of this hand, and, uh, hmm, okay, I'm just going to turn this on and, uh, get these down on my bar here. In here, I'm gonna grab a stack of snowballs. I'm just gonna try chucking one up here. All right, here we go. I got one. All right, now just stand here, wait for the experience to come to me, and this should fix up our tools rather quick. Like. If you watch the little set of wings at the bottom, uh, we should start fixing up. I can't reach all the stuff. If I, if I don't have this half slab here, then the little tiny dudes come up and uh, kill me. So we don't want to do that. Here we go. All right. Loading up here. Such a satisfying thing. Okay, so now I'm gonna. Got him. Keep him mad. Sit here and soak up some experience points. Like some of them aren't aggroed, and it takes a minute uh, for the ones that are to fall down. Maybe I didn't hit the guy like I thought I did. Okay. Let's try that again. There we go. Now they're mad. But this is definitely better than the zombie farm. <laughs> uh... It would be 20 or 30 minutes of work just to get my pickaxe and my shovel fixed. So, there we go. We're almost done. We're going to finish one thing, and then I'll wait for them to uh, de-aggro, I guess. That's a way to put it. There we go. Come to Papa. We'll throw another one. Oh. oh, here comes some more. Oh, I know what the problem is. Duh. Noob. Noob move. I've got mending armor on. Now my armor is all fixed. But I'm loath to take off my armor because of the way that uh, I die here a lot. So, we'll just do this. Alright, now. There. Now, everything should fix a lot faster. <laughs> there we go. Here we go. Magic. It's not perfect, folks. 
but uh, if you'll recall, we had quite an episode uh, <laughs> getting this thing to even function in some level of uh, resemblance to an experienced machine. So, all right, now we're going to fix the tools. Oh, look at it coming. Come to Papa. All right. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to throw some more snowballs, but it does work. I mean, this is proof that uh, I can get lots of levels and fix my tools, and it's not conventional, and I, I didn't get this design from anybody. This was straight out of the imagine of's imagination here. Let's throw a few more. All right. And there were, that was a, if you noticed, uh, you could even go back in the video just right a few seconds ago was one of these zombies that actually fell down and uh, it was one of the summoned zombies that they summon and that's part of the reason we had to make the sorter a little special and after this I will have to go down there and uh, check for zombie pigman heads because they clog up my sorter but this is pretty cool, man. It's not an Enderman farm, but it will fix my tools. And we are almost done, folks. They are still mad at me, which is a good thing. Oh, we're so close. Don't make me throw more. Don't make me throw any more. All right. I'll throw a couple more. Oop. There we go. Now, this should fix us right up. And there's the last tool. All right, so we're all set with that. I will intentionally put on my good armor again so I don't die when I leave here and get attacked. I will soak up the rest of this experience. So what we're gonna try to do here, folks, is get uh, a good day's worth of work in on uh, the gold farm. I'm gonna go back with uh, renewed vengeance and get the rest of the water out. And we'll, we'll probably do that for the start of the next episode. <clears throat> I'll try to get Lily on here with me soon because it's been a little while since we've heard her beautiful chipper voice and her positive attitude that always brings a smile to everybody's face. And I think that's it. Okay, so now I need to uh, get rid of these. Got that. Come out here. And we do kind of have to be careful not to get killed by any angry mobs. So we got our sword. We are ready. All right. I got food. I got iron golems protecting me down here. And we'll sneak around here real quick and see how many pigment heads we have. Um, got the chicken. All right. So let's see what we got here. If we got too many heads clogging up the system or what here. So we checked this chest up here I believe I don't see one in there I don't see it in the furnace all right then we go to this area over here we check this furnace that I don't believe there's anything clogging this one up that's good and then we gotta check this one Check the furnace, nothing in there. And check the furnace, nothing in there. Ooh, that's kind of hard to reach that one. I think we're good. We're still got plenty of capacity for gold. Let's see here. Nothing in there, nothing in there. I think we're good. All right, so we're gonna wrap up the episode. Thanks for watching me uh, use my new little experience tool and uh, get my stuff fixed. I say that's much better than the zombie farm that we had. 
Um, I would still be at the zombie farm and you could add another 25, 30 minutes at least to fix those tools. So <clears throat> all settled. <clears throat> now we're looking here. I'm going to leave everybody off with <clears throat> the view. We'll see what our card's doing right now. So that's what the card's doing with uh, this situation. Um, cranking out. It does, uh, it does overclock to, I think, about 2,085 megahertz, which is pretty good. The memory overclocks by about 500 megahertz. <clears throat> I say that's pretty good. And we're getting decent frame rates. Uh, it's not like that when we're in the overworld. I'll show you that uh, on the next episode. But we're going to leave it off here. We're going to collect a bunch of gold, uh, get closer to our goal. We're going to say goodbye with a little view of our buddies keeping an eye on the fort. Oh, oh, we caught one in action there. He just took out little zombie pigmen on a chicken. <clears throat> and ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining. Um, I'm glad you're back to uh, watch the episodes. And we're going to get cranking it out here. We're going to get some episodes. I'm not going to promise two a week for right now because... I've got focus on the family a little bit, but <clears throat> we will get videos out, and we are going to get our volcano made, our gold floor put in, and from the Imagine Of, I hope you have a wonderful week, and we will talk to you next time. It was raining at the station the day we said goodbye.